on the African summit that happened in Washington, D.C. last week. Uh, President Biden made it clear that Africa is a priority. He announced trade agreements. Um, you know, I'm curious if this is uh, the U.S. attempt to make sure that China and Russia can't get in these regions or, um, I, you know, that's sort of usually my assumption, what I'm looking for. So I don't want to lead the question, right. but maybe you can just tell me a little bit about it. Even though I have led the sure. question, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, so so let's let's base it even on that premise. I mean, even based on that premise, they're failing. So if their if their goal is is to uh, you know compete with China and Russia on the continent, they're not competing very well. Let's look at some of what came out of the U.S. Africa Leaders Summit. Uh, you know, they they Biden talked about committing fifty five billion dollars uh, to the continent. Over the course of three years, when you break that down, that's less than $20 billion a year uh, to a continent with a population of more than $1.2 billion. And so wow, that's why is really that? small, especially when you see the Ukraine it's aid. nothing. Yeah. Thank you. It's nothing. I mean, they're not serious. The U.S. is not serious about mending their relationship and, 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 and advancing their relationship with Africa. I mean, like you mentioned, how much are they giving to Ukraine? They're giving more than $60 billion in one year to Ukraine. And you're talking about $55 billion over the course of three years for a continent that has 30 times more the population and is incredibly underdeveloped. It's resource rich, but it's incredibly underdeveloped. And at this point, the right to this basic level of economic development on the continent is really a human rights issue. So you see people like the California Congressman Brad Sherman, uh, you know, pretending to care about certain type of human rights. What about the right to basic economic development? What about the right for women to be able to go to work and feed their kids, for them to have clean water, for them to have some level of food security? These are the, this is, this is the way in which we need to change the way we talk about human rights, particularly those of us here in the West, including the United States, we pick and choose. You know, we talk about, and this was discussed in the forum, uh, the community forum that we had in D.C. ahead of the U.S.-Africa Leaders Summit. You know, the U.S. always wants to talk about civil and political rights, elections, and the way that they see elections should be done. But there are other basic rights that are just as important, like the right to water, the right to food, the right to, you know, uh, uh, basic, decent living conditions. And, and the African diaspora, people that are from the continent, that have family on the continent, actually send way more in one year in remittances than the U.S. has committed in three years. So it looks like a bunch of PR, you know, as an American, in some ways I'm rooting for the U.S. to get this right. But each time it just seems like they're doing the absolute minimum and then just hoping that it'll fix itself. I mean, there are places in Africa that are so critical to the U.S. If you look at the Democratic Republic of Congo, it is 70 percent of the cobalt in the world comes from there. And then I think wow. a lot of the rest comes China, right? So if something was to happen to the Congo, like it would be an economic disaster in so many ways in many parts of the, the U.S. or the, 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 the continent or the world, especially the U.S., right? And, and I was at one of the events um, at the U.S. Africa Leaders Summit where a man from the DRC um, asked one of the Congress uh, people, what are you going to do about the Congo? I mean, you guys have to fix the way that you are working with the Congo. There is a way, you know, for, for you to be able to get the things you need and then actually help that that uh, country um, right, develop, develop a nation. To, yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit. I mean, it's in constant conflict uh, while there's all this looting that's happening of its resources, and so it's really about changing the partnership, making it on more equal grounds, understanding that the U.S. needs Africa. It genuinely actually needs Africa in terms of the resources, and so uh, we. I would like to see the U.S. approaching this differently because there's a lot of young people on the continent that are watching the way the U.S. is operating and it's either going to push them closer to the U.S. or further away from the U.S. and other powers like China and Russia that we know the U.S. wants to uh, be able to compete against. So it's just it's it's just a natural next step to to reform the U.S. Africa uh, relationship. I mean, this was the. Uh, second summit in, in eight years, the U.S.-Africa summit. And yet, on the back side of it, what do we see this chump change that's thrown at uh, the continent as a whole? And even within that, there are conditions. So what you saw, the $100 million that the Congressman Brad Sherman was uh, trying to uh, uh, stipulate, uh, mm -hmm. that comes from that 
$25 billion. So you've got $20 billion, less than $20 billion a year. Within that, you're conditioning it based on what you believe are human rights issues and ignoring what the country believes are human rights issues. And then there's also a report actually that came out recently from uh, the UN Economic Commission for Africa this year that said there's about $84 billion in illicit financial flows annually that go into Africa. So what that means is whatever money that goes in is often leaving the continent through these illicit ways. And much of that involves corporations and government officials both local to the African continent and those that are here in the West. So whatever money is going in is not actually ending up uh, developing the continent as well. So when you add all that up, what's left? Yeah. Right? So that's it, 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 it feels like nothing because of all the ways that it, it disappears before it reaches the people on the ground.